although I'm talking about cash flow forecasting, when you're doing financial forecasting, of which cash flow is a part, you've got three key elements to look at here. Sales forecast is going to help you plan and really think about how many of your products or services that you have to sell at what price to make enough income and certainly enough profit to pay your costs. Now we come to cash flow forecasting. This is you know, real-time forecast. Every pound that goes into your business, every pound that goes out of your business, irrespective of where it comes from or where it goes to, so that can be sales, money you put in yourself, whatever, wherever that money comes from, and it goes in your cash flow forecast when it actually happens. It is said. Turnover is vanity because you can have a very high turnover but no profit. Profit is sanity. Without profit, you do not have a long-term sustainable business. Don't confuse profitability with cash flow. You may make profitable sales, but when are you going to get paid? Because if you haven't got money coming regularly into your business, it's going to be difficult to pay your bills, buy your stocks, and so on and so forth. And the longer it takes you to get paid, the less profitable becomes that business. It's essential that you plan it. So in terms of planning, what you're really looking at is how much cash do you need available to pay your costs? Not just this month, but because you've done a forecast for a whole year ahead, and maybe even into the next year as well, you're able to look ahead and you may think, oh, hey, everything's okay in my bank account at the moment. Next couple of months, I'm fine. So now you've got total expenditure, everything going out. If you take the total expenditure away from the total income, you're showing your net income, how much remains after your expenditure has been taken from your income. And below that, you're likely to have an idea of your bank balance, what's the money coming in and going out of the bank account, and what's the state of your bank account. What I've done here, without describing every single box in detail, any figure in red is money going out of the business, any figure in black is money coming into or staying in the business. When we do a cash flow forecast, effectively, we're going to run it over a 12-month period with a total at the end. If you're starting up your business, um, you may be thinking, oh, where am I going to get the money? Well, it may be your own money. Perhaps you're getting some in from family and friends. You can look at private investors. It doesn't always have to be from a bank but you may look at bank loans and overdraft facilities. If you've been turned down by a couple of banks, you may look to the Prince's Trust if you are yet under 31 years of age. If we ask the question, really, why bother with cash flow forecasting? Well, when you've got a forecast, you can compare your forecast with the actual figures when you're trading. This is going to help you keep your business financially viable. And, you know, when you look through cash flow forecast, and not just the forecast, but you're putting in the actuals, and you're looking week in, week out, how the money is working in your business, then you will really, really understand how your business works.